Good evening, it's JT Walters. Um, I'm not doing fluid art tonight. I am um, continuing my adventures in abstract painting. So um, I hope you will join me. This is a 16 by um, 20 canvas. And basically what I did was, is I went around and I marked every four inches and I approximated the um, I like tried to, this is painter's tape on top. I try to kind of stick it about in the center of the painter's tape. It's an, it's a guesstimate, it's not the exact. Otherwise, I would have taken an inch off and done it that way, but I didn't because abstract art is abstract art. You know, you don't want everything to be just so. My idea today is to start with, putting on my gloves, is to start with, um, a cool color here, a cool color here, warm color here, a warm color there, or maybe the opposite. Warm and warm, cool and cool, and have them meet in the center. Which the center is like these two, right here. And so, to see what effect we get. So, um, and I'm going to use shading. And then I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to go over it and do different abstract. I'm going to do different um, taping methods and paint over that, too. So, I don't know. This is my reward for finishing my book. I just completed my, um, well, I had my first novel completed, but I did a complete rewrite. I mean, totally changed the book, completely, every word. And in changing every word, let me see if I, I don't even know if I can get this yellow out. Um, in changing every word and rewriting the whole book, it's like 120,000 words now. I mean, it's really long. And, but it's, they, you know, the, the through lines are right. The grammar's right. The spelling is right. I have a lot of things that are right about it now. So I'm, I'm pretty happy that I got that done. Okay, that's another dead to be yellow. So, um, as my reward for completing my work, I'm painting. Which is odd, given that I think all of my paintings really stink and I barely have any room in my house for any more paintings. And yet here I am, sitting here and painting more. I don't know, I, you know, I'm gonna have to either Put them up for sale or do something. Auction, you know. Oh gosh, I got yellow everywhere. I think that tube broke. Um, I'm gonna have to put them up for sale or donate them to charity to be auctioned or do something because. And I'm really shy about my work, so I really don't want to auction it off or sell it. I'm I'm kind of um, like the best I can do for showing people is showing you guys. So anyways, I'm, I'm mixing a, um, you know, I get on here and I can sit there and watch somebody else's video and I can tell you the exact color and when they call it the wrong color. But when I get on here and I do this myself, I can't do it. I, I like blank out and I say, um, a million times. Anyways, in an old cup, I'm mixing which I forgot the name. Anybody that know, remembers the name, please leave me a link. Or leave me, leave me it in my comments. But anyways, this is a really pretty yellow. And what you do is you just use regular yellow and add a hint of purple. And I'm gonna use that as my dark contrast on my, on my yellow instead of black because I think that'll just get muddy. So let me show you where I'm gonna start. So let me, let me just squeeze out. And I've got waters and sponges over here, so I, I'm prepared for the mess. So I'm gonna go like this, right? And start at this square. Okay. And I'm gonna do this square less. Actually, this square should be more. 
and this one should be way more because we're moving into the center area. This one about the same. Okay. And then I'm going to do the opposite side. Now I'm going to come back around with this, 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 um, I can't remember the name of this yellow, but anyways, I'm going to come back around and this is like the coolest yellow to use ever. I do this a lot for backgrounds and I'm going to darken it up. Okay. I'm also going to hit the sides because I'm like a sides girl. If you don't have your sides done with me, you are not serious about your painting. So, then I'm going to go up into here a bit more. Because you just can't go back with, with black in here. I just don't think it would make a good... I'll try it, but I... No, nah, I don't want to mess it up. Anyways, so this is where we start. Okay? Um, I'm going to dip this in water. I'm going to come back with some white and lighten this a bit. Not here, but more here. Because I want it to be lightened through here. And so, I'm just basically shading. Now you have to imagine this is... This also is not going to be the... See, and that's just on the top. This also is not going to be the final product because I'm going to go back in over all this. Okay, so I've got my brush out. Let me make certain my brush is clean. Clean my brush. Hopefully. Okay. So I'm really excited this weekend. We're having a march um, for post-traumatic stress disorder. And all the women are getting together for, um, I'm starting with the red over at the top corner. Right up here, and I'm going to do the red coming in that way. The idea of the red and the yellow meet to do like an orange burst. Now, I'm, I am going to have to use black on the back end of this. I really don't have a choice, and I'm not going to use the, the white pink. Because I just think it's going to be too much light for this particular corner. So what I'll do is, is I'll take this one. Now where this tape is, there's going to be absolutely nothing. And instead of using white, like I did with the yellow, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, which it would have just been simpler just to go like this. It would have, but I just worry that I'm going to make a mistake. Okay, is I'm going to go like that and almost put a pink kind of starburst in there, a little bit there, a little bit there, but that's it. None in that top corner back there. Okay, now I'm, I have red over here. I'm not really worried about, and I wish I had brought more brushes, but I, I don't really own that many brushes, honestly. I don't own that many brushes because just more to keep up with. So I'm going to follow through with the black. Oh, I got a hair in here. Get out. On the corner up there. Which actually, I'm not going to do that. Never mind. I've changed my mind. See, I, you know, I believe you should come to the canvas with a plan, but I believe if you see something better, you should do it. It's just my opinion. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take a little bit of the blue 
and I'm going to start it over here, right? And I'm going to paint the blue up into here. We're going to get four, four corners of blue, four squares of blue. Just like we had four squares of red and four squares of yellow, we're getting four squares of blue. I almost bought resin tonight online. I, I was really, I really, really am attracted to doing resin painting. I think the colors pop so much more. But the truth is, is my habit is expensive enough as it is. And until I start selling, it probably is not a wise idea for me to move to resin. Okay, now, these two squares right here, blue and yellow. So you're going to see half blue, right? And then you're going to see half yellow, okay? So we have these four. And then we have, let me see these, which is going to mix with the green. And again, this is just a template for an abstract that I'm doing underneath. Okay, so let me grab the yellow, push the yellow into the green. I mean the blue, and then that makes a lovely green, right? So there we go. So anyways, I have my, one of my de dearest friends in Nigeria is reading my book now. So, Alexander Thendai Mbanai, I'm waiting to hear back from you. He works, though. In all fairness, he's really a great writer, and he works, so. Um, he's one of my beta readers, and I've known him for, like, a long time. We're really good friends. We've always been really good friends, so, um... Actually, it's an interesting story how we met. He wrote a poem and I, I wrote a poem back that was kind of naughty. That would have made um, Fifty Shades writers embarrassed. But it was just to, um, and it got a lot of traffic. I mean, people were like really into it. <laughs> and so, um, if you ever get a chance, look up Alexander Umbanai's poem. Um... Um, halcyon, what is it, halcyon days, and so anyways, we wrote these poems, and so here's the green, and I'm just going to go with the green here, now I'm going to back out of the green, and I'm going to darken the green areas with some blue, going to touch up these with orange. So let me put this in here. And again, this is just a base coat. So don't get overly excited that something is going to happen in these coats that are really just basic base coats. Okay, so I go 50 50. I'm going to do bottom green, bottom green, and then I'm going to do tops red.
Now, rain and red makes brown, so I've got to be really careful not to over paint that. I wanted to stick with primaries for this particular project just to see how it would pan out. I mean, I could have gone with light blue and a pink and really Asianed it up, but I wasn't going to do that. That was not my plan. Okay, so. Red stays on top. So it's going to create purple here. I'm certain this is a really long video for all of y'all to watch, but I wanted to take you through step by step just to show you. I'm going to actually make that a bit more, a bit heavier. So you would see everything. You know, I didn't want to leave anything out. And this one I'm just gonna nail across sideways. This one needs to actually align. Okay. And then my final mark on the world is putting that blue in that bottom corner. Oh, and I still have to do the yellow over there. Okay, so the blue goes in the bottom corner. Okay, wait a minute. Blue, no blue goes in the top, I'm sorry. Blue goes up here. Hopefully that'll mix in and make purple, but maybe not. You never know. Doesn't look like it from there. So there's a little one. Okay, now I'm going to put yellow on the other side. I think I'm going to use a smaller brush. Okay, so the yellow basically is going through the middle. I'm going to use this, which I cannot, okra. That's the name of the yellow. Oh my gosh, it took me that long to figure that out. I get so nervous talking to y'all. I don't know why. I guess because I really don't think I'm a good painter. So, I mean, I can swing fluid paint with the best, but I just um, really try to experiment and encourage people to get out and paint. I mean, that's the whole goal of this demonstration is, you know, if I can do it, you definitely can do it. So, um, I'm not certain that that was the way it was supposed to go. Everybody else went on top. Eh, we'll be different. This one will be different. Maybe it rotated. Who knows? It's okra. Ochre. Ochre. Yellow ochre, and I really like this color. It does, it. I mean, it's great for so many different things. So, and that's just a matter of mixing yellow and purple. You don't actually have to go out and buy it. So, I know a lot of people go out and they're like, I have to buy it, and I'm like, no, you really don't. If you pay attention to your color wheel, you can do it on your own, and you can. So, I'm gonna put some purple, um, some orange in here because that should have been red down there and it wasn't, so. Now I'm just gonna starburst it down to orange. I'm just gonna put an orange in here and starburst it out. Okay, so this is it. I mean, this is no big deal. This is all that was done. I probably can go back over the corners um, with some blue and make it look definitely 
Well, with the red, I definitely can go back over. I mean, the red definitely can stand another coat. So we'll do that. Put it right up into there. And I don't mind if these, if I see a little purple in here because the whole point is to have the mix. So if there's a little purple coming in, I'm happy with it. Because that was my goal to begin with, is to have these colors mix on the canvas. I want them mixed in. Okay. And so I'm going to go back and I'm going to fix that green because that's the only one that doesn't have the other color on the top. So I'm going to paint over that. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to do the yellow ochre on the other side. And it's going to look better. Okay. So, let me get my other paintbrush. Oh, actually, I don't even need that one. Okay. I'm, I'm actually doing two paintings tonight, which is really weird. So... And I'm not even certain I should go with the yellow ochre more if I should attack with yellow because it's not, this should be turning blue. All things being equal, this should be turning blue and it's not. So let me pick up with the Still not turning blue. I mean, it's not. Actually, it's not going to turn blue. Blue and yellow make make um, green, which I can go that way on the other side, which I might. I just need to put the ochre back on. So. Not the black, the ochre. Okay. So here we go with the ochre. Which is almost like gold now. And I want a lot of ochre in here. Especially on that one. Not so much on that one. Okay, so now the moment of, I could go back in and I could do some other stuff, which I, I might, I don't know, I'm really reluctant to touch it any further because I know that I'm going to just go over this anyways. So let's just take it off and see how it turns out. And I have no idea how the painter's tape comes off, so... Just bear with me and we'll figure it out together. Okay. So let's take that one. Oh, God, that was bad. Oh, no, not the painter's tape in the paint. Okay, I hope you still can see. I'm pulling painter's tape off. Oh, what a mess. The painter's tape, not the painting okay so let's take another top one off here no I can't take that one off let's see if we can take this one off there really should be a guide on putting painters tape in pa painters tape on I haven't come across one yet but I'm certain I will and I have to say getting the painters tape off with gloves on your hands is really hard so I'm taking my gloves off now. 
taking the gloves off to get the painter's tape off. Okay. So, I'm sorry guys, I know you can't see this. I'm gonna put this down in a minute. I just have to dig out from underneath here. Ugh. Cause I really hooked that painter's tape on. Okay, here we go. Nope, can't do that. <laughs> Let's see if we can take that one off. We can take that one off, yes. That one can come off, get out of there. See, I... Nope, can't do that one either. This one's gotta come off next. And I have to take my gloves. I have to get my finger and do this. Okay guys, it's like such a long video. You guys probably aren't gonna be able to even see this. Oh my gosh, come on. Okay. Fuck. You did not hear that. I did not say anything. That was not a swear word. <laughs> I'm going to have to make this adult rated. Ugh. Ugh. Get off of my thing. It's like the attack of the painter's tape. So this is the last one to come off. Do not drag across my canvas. Okay. There you go, guys. That's the painting. So far. If I don't do anything else to it. I am upset about that. <laughs> and that. And that. And the smudges that are through there. Those upset me. I can go back over and I can paint those areas once this dries. I can tape that all up. Uh, but I'm, uh, I don't know. I don't know. If I don't come up with a better method for removing painter's tape, I I'm, I'm, might as well not even use it because... A lot of this mess is caused by the fact that I went in here with not knowing how to remove the paint, not knowing the order to remove the painter's tape. And see that, that caused me a lot of headache. So, the idea was sound. I mean, it was a sound idea to use primaries in these different color squares and to mix them on the canvas. That was kind of a cool idea. Um, the execution is where it lacked. Um, as far as getting green here, I do like the, the okra and the green together. I, I think that that worked out, even though those colors didn't mix and they weren't supposed to. And it was kind of a bummer that the red had to actually be painted over. But this is just, I'm going to retape this and then I'm going to do another abstract. So it's not done by any stretch of the imagination. This is just the first beginning steps. So why I did this as a reward to myself for finishing my book, I don't know. I must be <laughs> a complete masochist. But anyways, this is JT Walters. Thank you for watching. Um, and I hope you have a really awesome evening. Here it is, the final product.